This tweet from Nina Teichel, who wrote The Big Fat Surprise, which is an excellent book I highly recommend. Companies that cause a problem seek to control the dialogue and any laws and regulations on how to solve them. Check this out. So an oral health webinar linked to healthy people and dietary guidelines for Americans sponsored by candy and chewing gum companies. Altoids, Big Red, Eclipse, Dove. What is some of this other shit? Galaxy? Aren't they like Three Musketeers candy? I think Galaxy is like chocolate bars or something. Five, I think, gum. Okay. This is everywhere in the food industry. Now, the key is big food, processed food, products that are meant to sell to millions of people. These products that are designed to be on the shelves of every Walmart, every grocery store in the country to sell millions and millions and millions of them, these big food, big company brands are pretty much always not the good stuff to eat. They're not good. They're just not good for you, okay? That's why there's a slow food, small food, local food movement that's been growing, you know, probably for like the past 30 years or so. And we need even more of it because of this type of nonsense. Because what happens when these companies have so much damn money and so much scale, they influence stuff like this. They sponsor American Heart Association, the dental, dentist, I don't know what, like whatever their association is, right? They literally pay lobbyists billions of dollars every single year to get favorable laws written so that they can put things on labels that are like, yeah, it is zero gram trans fat, but as long as the per serving is only 0.5, I only have to put in the label zero. Or olive oil, they're allowed to have some percentage being some other oil, unidentified oil, like soy, uh, corn, and other seed oils like that, that they can literally put in a bottle that says 100% olive oil. Small brands, small local ingredients, small food, like whatever you can do, buy small, go small when it comes to food and ingredients. And you will be doing more for changing this nonsense, but also, and most importantly, you will be doing more for your health because the big food, the big pharma, the big companies, they're not good for you.